I came to Mora 23 years ago after finishing my residency in St. Paul. I was familiar with the people of Mora, the hospital and medical staff, and knew it was a place where I would like to live, practice medicine, and raise a family. I wanted to practice, but there was a lot of opportunity for me. I, I went into family practice for a reason. I wanted to practice full spectrum family medicine. I wanted to do hospital, I wanted to do clinic, I wanted to do OB, uh, I wanted to have the opportunity to do ER. I found tremendous fulfillment working in the Mora community. There's an incredible amount of local trust and appreciation of the hospital, and that's a benefit that's not going to show up in any retirement packet, but it might be our most important one. With a well-trained and dedicated staff, plus a great facility, I consider it a privilege to provide surgery for my neighbors in East Central Minnesota. We strive to give the very best care, and it's right here in our own community, close for us and our patients, and that's just the way we'd want it. Our area is growing rapidly, and First Light Health System is growing with it. We operate satellite clinics in Hinckley and Pine City that offer full-spectrum outpatient care. We are recruiting physicians to staff these clinics. A brand new facility in Pine City, capable of supporting six physicians, opened in 2011. The ideal candidate for these positions are physicians looking to practice small-town rural health care without the additional responsibility of hospital call. Probably the very first thing that, that grabs people is the, uh, the community. When we go around in the community and see a community that's so devoted to its own health via Vasa Lopa, ski races, our canoe races, our bike races, our marathons, um, it, it, that sells it to begin with. That kind of gets their, their initial attention. Samoa is the, the perfect community as it, it's close but not too close um, to bigger cities. Uh, it's real close to the metropolitan area, St. Cloud, Duluth. I think living and working in a small community can provide great opportunities for providers. I found tremendous fulfillment working in the Mora community. There's no need for fancy advertising here. You just care for your patients, treat them well, and they'll spread the word for you. It is the norm for physicians that come to Mora to spend their career here. People that want to raise a family in a smaller community where they know their neighbors and their children's school teachers and have the proximity to the Twin Cities for the sporting and cultural events available within an hour and a half drive. Our, our schools are Class A. Uh, we have excellent teachers. They are very active in our community. Our teachers are amazing. Our, our school systems are, are fantastic. I love living in Mora. I get to care for families that I know as friends and be part of a great community. There really is more than a career here. There's a life here. I think that's the main difference. That's something special. It's got a brand new clinic. The um, ER is just recently um, remodeled. The surgical suites are uh, top of the line. So, you know, that really shows me that this clinic, this hospital, they're moving in the right direction. I can live on my little tree farm, raise my kids in a safe and loving community, yet have the best tools and technology available for my surgical patients. I was really pleasantly surprised when I got here to find out what a well-equipped facility this is and it really helps me take care of the, uh, the people that you just meet out in the street every day. That's been one of the greatest pleasures about coming to a rural town but still having the advantages of a, a top-notch facility. I can't say enough about the culture here. The moment you walk through the front doors you can feel the spirit of cooperation and friendliness and support and this belief that everything is centered around the patients. From the administration to the nursing staff, people want to come to work every day. There's a sense of mission here at the hospital, and you can feel it. 
We have a single mission here at First Light Health, to provide excellent patient care. We strive to stay on the cutting edge of technology, but at the same time using the fundamentals of medicine to help prevent illness, treat disease and injury, and make our communities healthier. To meet this mission, we first and foremost care for the patient. We also recruit and retain the best talent available, both from a physician's standpoint as well as the sporting staff. Lastly, we have been and will continue to invest significant time and resources into improving the hospital and clinics. Physicians find that the practice here is very intellectually rewarding. It offers the ability to practice all aspects of family medicine, including outpatient medicine, hospital medicine, and obstetrics. We're looking for physicians that want to practice full-scope family medicine with the support of their colleagues. The practice here attracts people that want that type of full-scope practice. It's not a corporation. It's a community hospital. This hospital uh, is only in existence because the community uses it. And when we make money, when the hospital is profitable, we put it back into the hospital. It doesn't go to a board, it goes back into the community. How can we better serve our community? And, and that's what we do. Here at First Light Health, we are committed to making a difference in the communities we serve by investing in our employees and our facilities and by creating the best possible environment for our physicians to practice medicine. First Light is a rapidly growing medical facility, one that is dedicated to partnering with caring physicians to bring the highest quality health care to this region. We welcome the chance to meet with you.